Hello, welcome everyone to particular play paint. We are back with some Warhammer 2 casted battles. This is a battle I recently fought uh, in the quick play mode and my opponent Sihil was playing the Dark Elves here and I as usual was playing the Tomb Kings. So let's take a look at both the armies first and as Tomb Kings I am bringing uh, 4 units of Skeleton Warriors, 3 units of uh, Tomb Guards with such rather imperishable as my lord won his glorious war sphinx here look at this boy it's so great and i also have three units of shakti to deal with the armored units and larger units of dark elves and also two units of skeleton spearmen and two units of tomb guard halberds for similar reason for protecting the shakti on the other hand my opponent has uh, brought four units of bleak swords and Malakith and double manticore which is uh, very uncommon to see actually and Malakith here is on Seraphon his dragon take a look here and he also have a fire caster sources of fire pretty good against the tomb kings and a huge cavalry and chariot core with three score generous carriers one uh, cold one knights and two units of dark riders so without any further delay let's get into the battle and see so as we see both the armies are starting to move forward with uh, his uh, chariot core trying to flank outflank me on the uh, this side uh, moving around and I am I am currently walking my army ahead so that uh, they don't go out of formation and I soon will start uh, shooting with my Shapti on the chariot core as they start uh, coming close to me and now the Shaptis are moving forward as the rest of the army forms up the dark elves army is getting closer and the Shapti starts raining down the first ball is into the scorch runner chariots the, and the scorch runner chariots starts counter firing into my halberds it's a pretty good target uh, he has quite a large uh, mass of uh, single entities and uh, large monsters and cavalry and now the whole core of uh, cavalry is going to smash into my flanks while the shaft is and to fire into them and look at these shots hitting these uh, cold one knights dropping them like flies the uh, halberds counter charge the cold one knights on the side and but they get charged in the flank by the dark riders and the scourge and the chariots my front line in the on my right side has broken completely under the cavalry pressure malakith himself has joined the fray and I am moving back my Ushapti, although one of these Ushaptis get uh, caught in a bit, although there is a bit lag due to this number of units. A uh, pretty good burning head going down here by the Sorcerer of Fire. The Both of the front lines have clashed and I am uh, starting to move forward my uh, Tomb Guards to support my front lines. This Tomb Guard is sitting there and they are fighting this Bleak Sword, they will pretty handedly beat them down. And I have managed to move back the Shapti, although a uh, Soul Stealer going down on my uh, Lord here, Setra, and the Shaptis are raining fire on the Manticores, uh, both of whom have rampaged uh, into the Spears, which is a good engagement for me. And Malak uh, Setra counter charges Malakith here, although Setra is uh, anti infantry, but he can do quite well against. Uh, these cavalry monsters although there are some score giant chariots which are not good for me and they are now going after Setra and the Ushaptis I uh, countered that with my uh, spears one of my halberd units was uh, sitting here idle uh, for a long time so I start pulling them back and uh, my opponent here uh, is losing quite a lot of troops uh, actually although he uh, probably should uh, start moving Malakit back up in the air and start using uh, some spells I have lost one unit of Ushapti and the Ushapti summon goes down on the uh, Dark Riders and they are pretty uh, good against them actually they have a lot of armor piercing and a lot of uh, damage 
so they are doing pretty well against the they can hold their own against the cavalry and they are beating them at the fight the uh, sources of uh, fire puts down a, a blade of uh, i think it's a blade of uh, fire blade of ruin yeah fire blade of ruin uh, in these on this unit so that they deal fire damage to my undead uh, mind you all these un all my units are weak to fire damage so it's a pretty good strategy i am constantly pulling my ushapti back and screening them with my halberds uh, protecting the archers in this matchup is pretty good and malakit gets up in the air and fires onto the halberds uh, using seraphon's bro breath dealing a lot of damage to them my halberds here have broken the dread knights and uh, both the units of dark riders and the um, swordman uh, bleak swords here and my uh, tomb guard is chasing this uh, bleak sword they are not able to catch them they will not they are much slower but they will be able to chase them away from the battlefield the ushapti is on the dying breath uh, or as the end of the summon attacks the sorcerer of fire who is on horseback and i also deal a lot of damage to her by the spears and she will be broken uh, although she will return later in the game spoilers and the halberd i'm trying to catch this manticore with halberds uh, so that they can't reach my ushapti whom i am constantly moving back although they are being fired upon by the anti large projectiles from the scorcher chariots uh, which will kill them pretty good and uh, setra gets some breathing room and he is uh, moving ahead to uh, help these uh, scorch runners and malakith on the other hand is also moving forward also the sorceress has come back and she immediately drops a fiery uh, sword on these uh, scorch runners to increase their damage setra is attacking malakith on the uh, rear and down goes malakith and with that the army losses will kick in for a pyrrhic victory for us uh, it was a pretty good match uh, i lost my right flank quite fast due to the cavalry charge although the ushaptis did really well uh, i could have protected one of my ushapti units much better and uh, maybe a better uh, control of spell and uh, moving around my units for my opponent dragons are a very big target for uh, units like shaftis and other armor piercing uh, missile units so uh, against tomb kings it's a big risk to bring them but he did quite really well uh, even after bringing them and he put up a great fight so that's it for today's replay replay and i will see you next time thank you particular out